everybody. I'm back. Okay. Well, this is an evergreen wreath base that I got at Walmart. You know, when everybody was out getting uh, 2,500, 200 of the, of the evergreen wreath bases, and now they're sitting in your craft room going, what am I going to do with those come, come Christmas time? Or come July. Well, here's what I'm I'm gonna show you something I'm gonna do with some of mine because I got a bunch of these. I'm gonna smash it. Yes. Hey Sheila. Not only am I gonna smash it, I'm gonna zip tie it that way. I can find my zip ties. Oh my goodness. I organized my craft room. Now I can't find anything. Have you ever been that way? Okay, so I'm going to take this zip tie and run it from one side to the other. See if I am a little bit longer than this. Hey Mel. Hey Lynn, you're back. Hey Diane. Okay. Let's try this again. Oh, girls, this is why you don't see me do it unique in the creek board. I haven't passed zip tie 101. Just saying. Yeah, I went to Florida yeah. Design School, but not Zip Tie University. I, I flunked that.
when the zip ties just don't want to zip tie. I just love Walmart zip tie. You just don't want to zip. Yeah, that one don't zip at all. Okay, come on. This is the biggest I have. I'm about thinking about you wiring it. I give up. That's going to be wired. you need a backup plan. I just need it enough to hold so it's not going to go anywhere. And that once I get all the stuff in it, it ain't going to go anywhere anyway. Okay. And it, made, it makes a swag. Like this. And then I'm going to add to it. I'm going to start off. I'm going to add gold. I'm going to add gold to it. I have these gold bay leaves. I'm going to add these gold bay leaves to it. Add one over this direction. Heck, I've even used used the pipe cleaners that has the green pine on them to tie these together. So I guess it doesn't matter if they're zip tied. Pipe cleaner. I the pine pipe cleaners I used. I've used a lot too. It's so whatever you grab off the craft table, as long as it's held securely together. As long as it isn't going anywhere, we're okay. And with that pipe cleaner on there, it ain't going anywhere. Just cutting these bay leaves apart. And these bay leaves have some gold berries on them. See the gold berries? Hi, Teresa. Hey, Mary. 
and I hope you guys have fun at crafters convention we'll miss you Cut a bunch of these apart. Hi, Mel. I'm back again. So many people missed my first lot. I thought I'd come back and see if any, if, if how many people missed it this time. Just saying. That was glued in. I guess it's not. Hi, Sandy. Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. This right now could be a centerpiece. It could be a swag. Either one. That one ain't attached either. After I get done with projects, oh, I like to do the shake test to make sure everything's attached and there isn't something laying in there that I thought was attached that isn't. Got the gold in there. Yeah, you're doing good, girl. You guys see me burn myself good here, there, too. Man, did I get myself. Nothing like a gold and red project. Now 
now the glue skillet's hot, I can use the glue skillet. Just want to add a pop of red. Not a lot of red, just a pop. Hey Nala, welcome back. Welcome back. just kind of straighten these out a little. Okay. Uh, she was live last night. Nana was live last night. She ended up doing two videos. I think she was having problems with her computer. But uh, she was live last night. So if you haven't seen her live, you have to go check it out. She was making a Ragbo for Easter. I wasn't on a lot because I've been busier than frog here with the, all this stuff I'm doing for uh, for the craft shows and and for the reclaim wood. I'm over the reclaim wood. I'm so, so tired of doing that stuff. I've done two lives, but I've been working on that stuff for a month. Adding some birds and gold and a couple apples. And then I'm going to add a bow. And add a bow right in the center. And uh... hey, Melissa. <laughs> yeah, if you haven't, if you didn't notice that Susan was live, she was live last night. Um, you'll have to catch a replay. having trouble seeing when when people comment or that's what she said bigger than what I had this set for. Uh -huh. uh, 
Yeah, I have I have storage for it. But uh, I will be glad to go to the show, some shows to try to move some of it out of the storage. Which I guess I'm lucky because my first show is April 4th. And the next one is April 18th. So it's not that far away. So the biggest thing is I got to get things finished. I have some stuff, some uh, stuffed carrots I want to make. I have some um, hair bows I want to finish. Oh. I have tons of reclaimed things that Dad wants me to get done. I have some keychains and some some bead things I want to make. soon the utility trailer will be full for our, our first show. Yeah. Mine is, mine is, I have one that I can take Easter stuff to, and then the next Easter's over, so I'll have to take just spring and Mother's Day stuff, and every day. So that's that's what makes that hard. I wish I would have had two Easter shows. And then my next show isn't till July. After the 4th of July. So it's like, ugh. Guess that when I'll take uh, fall stuff in Christmas and every day. Okay, what did I do? Exactly. I wish I would have had two that was for Easter. But I can't find a show, only one before Easter, which is kind of silly. Angela. Yeah, I've been doing a lot. i done two lives today, so you might have missed one.
I have a oh that would be lovely I'll definitely do that it I'm having a hard time I mean I have a friend that's helped me find quite a few but I have a hard time I'm having a hard time finding good ones Okay. Oh. Yeah, I know there's a big I signed up for one big one in Waterville. It's, but I can't say the name. The Roche de Buche show festival. And I know I wrecked that. But it's one where we have to set up a tent. Hey Sandy, do you have to have a tent? I thought about it and I'm going and and I had another show already scheduled so I couldn't do it and I heard mixed reviews from other crafters And then I want to get into the um, apple butter in Grand Rapids. Okay, you know what's funny? I have never done a show. Never in Bowling Green. Yeah, I, I had a couple sign makers tell me they they didn't sell it they didn't do well at all there I had another lady that was a sign maker she said she only she only did did well there in their fall show and not their spring Yeah, I, I definitely want to get in that one. We have already bought our tent. Sandra, do you have to have a tent? I, bu I had to buy a tent. If you go to a craft show and you see a big black, black and white striped tent, has black and white stripes all over the roof, and the, the sides are white or black, that's me. You know me and my black and pink, so my tent is is a black and black and white striped big top. It goes straight up to a point. It looks like a black and white circus tent. If you you see the circus tent, you'll you'll find us.
Yeah, I think they said ten thousand at the at Grant at the apple butter, and the same amount to that Roche de Buche in Waterville. So those two will be probably my biggest shows that I have scheduled right now. And as soon as Grand Rapids allows, I'm going to definitely sign up for that one. That's why I'm making so much Christmas. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I've never done anything in Bowling Green. Somebody told me to go to what they call the Picker's Paradise. I forget where it's at. Uh, Napoleon, maybe? But I was told that that was basically where you go and, you, and clean out your garage and empt and take all your garage sale items. And it's like, uh, that isn't, that wouldn't be my crowd. Yeah, they said that Bowling Green's starting a new drinking ordinance where people can drink on the street and they were having a fit about that in Bowling Green. Because of the college students. Okay, I found... One little piece of this. Actually, we will probably be at Arby's again next week because we have another appointment on Friday in Finley. So we will probably be there again next week. Okay. Wow. Me and Sandy will just have to do a show together sometime. What do you think? There is my project. I may add this sign to it. I'll, I'll let you know. This sign may go in it. It says, it says, Melissa, Melissa's going to, ha, has it upside down. Warm, it says warm wishes. And this may go in, in, in this uh, swag somewhere. But uh, I'm not sure. I'm not. I. But uh, just wanted to show how you can take an evergreen, um, an evergreen wreath, 
and turn it into a beautiful swag. Where's the good Chinese restaurant? I must have missed that one. <laughs> yeah, I, I was debating on that too. If it was uh, too much. Because this way, you could use it as a swag or a centerpiece. <laughs> no sign. Okay. Yeah, I was debating on sign with sign. Without it, you could do it. You could use it either way. Okay. No sign. Oh. Okay. Okay. I didn't know you were down there, okay? I'll talk to you later, guys. Um, I just wanted to pop on and do something I normally do on my page since I've been doing reclaimed wood, reclaimed wood, reclaimed wood. But uh, it's nice to talk to you guys and, and get a chit chat even more and uh, hope you have a good, a good rest of the day and Sure nice it isn't snowing in Ohio. <laughs> but yeah, I think you guys are right. The sign kind of takes away from it. And this way it could be used as a centerpiece too. Bye. Keep on crafting.